What's up everyone, Antanx here. I hope everyone is doing well. I have a lot of stuff to show everyone. Look how many cards I've gotten. Uh, a couple weeks ago I went to a card show. I got a whole bunch of vintage cards from the 60s. Look at all that. Uh, and I just got a lot of guys who, a lot of Yankees, and a lot of guys who sign in the mail. You know, I'm going to want to send these cards out. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of them because we'll be here all night. Uh, so I'll show you one from like each year. So Ralph Terry. So I got two from this design. Uh, Ralph Hauk. I'm not showing every card. Uh, Vern Law. Tom Tresh. It's cool to have these cards. If I don't have any of the, these Yankee cards from the 60s. Uh, Joe Pepitone. Austin Howard, that's a cool card to have. Austin Howard. Uh, Mel Stoudemire. Fritz Peterson. I think that's it. Oh, another card. Bobby Mercer. Like, I don't have Bobby Mercer cards. This we have. And I got a couple of Hall of Famers. In I, well, he, he had a, uh, not a couple of Hall of Famers, but you see guys. So, Warren Marischal. And next. Uh, next card is from a private autograph signing. Uh, Mr. Wally Joyner. Added to my 1988 Tops collection. Now, on to the TTMs. Uh, first one is a TTM King. Is You know, he's great in the mail. Pat Neshek. Patty check again. I think I sent four. Yeah, this is the third one. And number four is 2019 tops. Next one is Chris Volstad. Sent three of them. Number two, Chris Volstad again. And three is the Marlins one. Next one is Jeremy Guffrey. This has come from a purchase I made from a friend of mine, Josh Rogers. Next one is Todd Green. Fun fact about him, he caught the first pitch uh, in the 2001 World Series from uh, George W. Bush. He was the catcher who caught the uh, first pitch. That was pretty cool getting his autograph, especially in the Yankee card. Next one is Ryan Shirley. This guy has a nice signature. Uh, Rob McCowick, if I'm pronouncing that correct. A recent player, Corey Gearin. Uh, 
Jeremy Bonderman. Bonderman's two in the mail, so I sent him this one. Jeremy Bonderman again. Next one is Joe Borowski. Taylor Motter. And my two most recent cards I got, Phil Gardner. And Jason Tyner. And I don't think I showed this in my last video. I had it for my last video. I just totally forgot. But uh, a, lo a former independent baseball player that played with my local team, uh, I messaged him on social media because he was playing overseas. And I, you know, I won a baseball from another league. I've been trying to do that. I have Major League Baseball. I have Triple A, Double A, Single A, Arizona Fall League, Spring Training. So I'm like, it would be cool to get a, a baseball. So I worked at a deal. I sent money to charity. And he mailed me a ball from the Chinese Professional Baseball League. So that's pretty cool to have. Oh, wow. So, it's a pretty cool ball to add to my uh, baseball, like, league co collection. And I would like to thank him again for that. Now, off to some of the bigger items, which I've gotten quite a bit. First item is an 8x10 photo uh, I got for a good deal from uh, Mr. Brian Cashman Brian Cashman Yankees general manager next one is a TTM from Mr. Bud Sewick baseball hall of famer and former commissioner Now, this one is pretty cool. Uh, this is 11 by 14 photo of the Yankees uh, three perfect game pitchers. Don Larson with the uh, perfect game inscription, David Wells with his perfect game inscription, and David Cohn with his perfect game inscription, all with the dates and the celebration of each picture. 11 by 14 photo. This is really cool. Big fan of this piece. Again, up for a minute to show you another piece that's over on the other table. So, Don Morrison. Let me back this up so you can. Yeah, that's it. So Don Larson, yeah, perfect view. Larson, Wells, and Cone, perfect game pictures. This is a really cool pre piece. Okay. And that was, that, yeah, that I just purchased, cash when I purchased, Se Selick was uh, a TTM. And this is from a private autograph signing. Oh, there is another piece after this one. Next purchase from a private signing is the 2009 World Series MVP. Hideki Matsui in 2009 World Series Baseball. So that's pretty cool to have. And there is one more baseball 
take a look at this while I get it. Oh, it's right over here. I thought it was fur. Okay. I wear my pajamas. Yes, it's like 10 o'clock. Figure let me just film a video for you guys. Uh, this was a TTM. I sent an email to uh, current baseball commissioner Rob Manford. He has autographs for it if you send him an email and he'll mail a ball. So Rob Manford. But I already have one. Up. Oh, you get uh, on this one. And there's another shelf I have over this way. Uh, so I already have one. I mailed a second ball for a reason. Uh, I wanted a second ball for, I didn't mail this, but I wanted a second ball for a reason to mail to the other living baseball commissioners. So the first one I mailed to was Peter uh, Uberoff. He was commissioner from 1984 to 1989, and he, he even put that. So he signed right there. So... Rob Manford, current commissioner, and Peter Uberoff, commissioner from 1984 to 1989. So that's pretty cool. And then two more. I need to you know, be able to complete this ball for those commissioners, former commissioners who are alive. Uh, the next two are Bay Vincent and another Silic, but I'm going to wait on the Silic. I don't want to send two items in there back and back so I'm gonna mail this to pay Vincent wait maybe a month or two and mail it to uh, Bud Selig but that's about it uh, I do have another I do have a uh, something else coming big in the mail uh, uh, from purchase I just did and who knows what TTMs may arrive in the mail. So that's always a fun surprise. Every time I come home from work, I'm like, oh, I got mail today. All right. Hope everyone's staying well. And I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Holidays. And if I don't make a video by the end of 2020, have a Happy New Year. But I'm going to try and make another video before 2020 ends. So, have a good one.